we're going to make Boston cream pie. This actually isn't a pie, but it's a cake and it's filled with custard and topped with chocolate glaze. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a large bowl and inside the bowl, you're going to put one and a quarter cups of sifted flour into your bowl. You're going to put next a cup of granulated sugar. And I'll just start stirring this in. What I like about this cake, you can actually just put all the ingredients in and then start beating it with your hand mixer or use your stand mixer. The next thing we're going to put in is a third cup of solid shortening. And we're also going to put three quarters of a cup of milk. And at this time, I'm going to start to pour the milk in a little at a time and breaking up that uh, salad shortening. I'll just do that on low. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit so I can get to that bottom of that bowl and clean those sides. It's going to take you about a minute to actually make the batter and it, you need about three minutes after that to, to have it on medium speed. The next that we're going to put in is one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That was one and a half teaspoons. And I'm just at medium speed right now. Next we're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in. going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. And the last thing we're going to do is to put in a egg, one egg. And now I'm going to raise my speed on high and start beating it. And it should be mixed or beaten at least three minutes. But due to this video, of course, I'm going to move it along. But just take another second or so to show you what it looks like. Quickly take my beaters out and soak them in some soapy water for the next step. But this is how it will look. It'll actually look uh, creamier once you spend that three minutes of really combining it and beating it on medium to medium high speed. Now what you're going to need is a round pan and I'm using a nine by three, but you can use a nine by one and a half inch, heavily grease it with a solid shortening and dust it with flour. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to pour this in because the batter looks pretty smooth enough to do that. So we're going to just pour that in. Now we're going to put this cake in the oven at 350 degrees and it's going to bake up in about 35 minutes. But start checking it around that 22 mark um, for to see if it's done because you know that all ovens set up differently. So just put that in again at 350 for about 35 minutes or a little shorty, shorter depending on your oven. All right, by setting that aside, for the next step that we're going to do is actually make the custard cream filling. And it's really easy. Now you're gonna do this over your stove, uh, but I'm gonna show you how easily it's put together. So let's start off by putting in a medium sized pan or a pot, and we're going to put one third cup of granulated sugar in that. We're going to put two tablespoons of corn starch, that was two tablespoons, and then I'm just going to mix it together, but you're going to be doing this of course on your stove, and then we're also going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Now once you do that, then you're going to take one and a half cups 
of milk. Along with that, you're going to beat actually two uh, large egg yolks, just the yolks, and beat them, and you're going to put them into your milk. Now, while you're on the stove, again, you're going to heat it up at medium temperature, then you're going to start pouring this mixture in on the stove, and you're going to wait till it boils. And once it starts to boil, boil it for one minute and then take it off your stove. And at that time, you're going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla once it's been boiled and it's thickened. And then you're going to put a piece of uh, plastic wrap on top of that. Now I have some to show you what it looks like. This will prevent it from forming the skin. And then you'll have this beautiful custard, this egg custard. Again, you're going to do this on your stove till it boils one minute, then take it off the stove, put your t uh, vanilla in it, stir it, and put your plastic wrap on top, and then wait till it cools. So this is how this custard will come out. It's very rich, very creamy, and very smooth. It has a very velvety uh, quality to the custard. So that's your custard filling for the inside of the cake. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the chocolate glaze. Now, you can do this on the stove, or you can do it just on the countertop as, as I uh, am. But what I like to do is I take actually the three tablespoons of butter and I melt it ahead of time. And I put that in my bowl. Now if you prefer to do this on the stove where you're, you'll melt the batter on the stove, then you go right ahead. I'm going to use on this, uh, I need baking cocoa. And we're going to use nine tablespoons. And that was nine tablespoons of baking cocoa. We're also going to use three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now, if you're going to be using the unsweetened chocolate that you have to melt, melt rather, then of course you're going to need to put that on the stove. And then you can uh, actually melt your butter and your unsweetened chocolate. But because I use the baking cocoa, I don't have to do it on my stove. The next thing that you're going to put in to make the glaze is powdered sugar. And you're going to need a cup of that. A cup of powdered sugar. And you're going to need some vanilla. So you're going to use 3 quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla. And the last thing that you're going to put in is two tablespoons of hot water. And you're just going to work with it till it becomes smooth and all the lumps are gone and all the sugar has blended in. It makes a really rich chocolate glaze. And this is going to take you at least a couple minutes to get it out. I have some made ahead of time in this pan. And you can see how beautiful the glaze has turned out. It's silky, it's very rich, and it's really easy to make. So now then you have the topping. So we've made the batter, we've made the custard, and we have put together our chocolate glaze for the top of it. This is a look of the actual cake when it comes out. You're going to cut it in half. If you'd like to see me assemble this cake, we'll have a video too of Boston Cream Pie Part 2. I hope you like this recipe. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.